We're going to look at four different problems here that have to do with finding intercepts, and then some of them have to do with graphing the line after you find the intercepts. This first question just asks for the intercepts. To find the x-intercept, set y equal to 0. So we take the equation, 3x plus y equals set 6. We're going to set the y value equal to 0, and then solve for x. And a quick way to do that is if you have y is 0, the y term disappears. So we're left with 3x equals 6 right away. And then you can solve x equals 2. Um, but if you don't see that, then just put y is 0 right into the equation. Then we're left with 3x equals 6, dividing by 3 on both sides. We're going to get x equals 2. The x-intercept is not just the value of x equals 2. It is the ordered pair x equals 2, y equals 0. And that's because it's the place where the line is going to cross the x-axis. It intercepts the x-axis there. So it has to be an ordered pair, not just the value of 2. And we're going to do the same thing for the y-intercept. The only difference now is we're going to set x equals 0. So again, we do 3x plus y equals 6. Start with your original equation. If x is 0, cover up that term because it's gone, and you get y equals 6. Now, if you don't see it that way, just put in the x is 0. So we get 3 times 0 plus y equals 6. This goes to 0. So we get 0 plus y is 6. And that gives y equals 6. Now, again, we don't want to just leave the answer y equals 6. We have to have an ordered pair for the intercept. So the intercept would be x is 0 at y equals 6. That is the y-intercept, or the place where the line will cross the y-axis, or intercept it, if we were to graph the equation. So that's how you find x and y-intercepts. Let's take a look at some other problems now where we're going to find the x and y-intercepts and use them to graph an equation. I usually find it quickest to set up a chart when I'm finding x and y-intercepts. All right, so graph x minus y equals 5. So what I'll do is make my xy chart, and I'm going to go ahead and find intercepts. So I'm going to put x is 0 in, solve for y, put y is 0, solve for x. That will give us the two intercepts. So first, when x is 0, we have x minus y equals 5. If x is 0, that term goes away. I'm left with minus y equals 5. Multiplying both sides by negative, I get y is negative 5. So when x is 0, y is minus 5 goes right in there. And we can see that on the graph. When x is 0, so no motion horizontally, y goes to minus 5. That is our y-intercept. Now we're going to do the same thing, except for y. Put y is 0 in. So we take our equation. Y minus y, x minus y equals 5. If y is 0, that term goes away. And left with the x equals 5. So when y is 0, x is 5. And we can graph that right over here. When So our point is 5, 0, so x is 5 at y is 0. And then we just want to get a ruler. And I've got one kicking around here somewhere. And draw a line through the points. And that's a way to get a, cr a quick sketch by finding intercepts. Right, so that's the graph of x minus y equals 5. Let's try out another one. Find intercepts and graph 4x plus 2y equals 4. We can use the exact same approach. Make a chart, xy, 
0 for x, find y, 0 for y, find x. Alright, so first x is 0. Start with the equation, 4x plus 2y equals 4. If x is 0, that term goes away, and I'm left with 2y equals 4. Solve by dividing by 2, and we get y equals 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. And let's go ahead and graph that point. x is 0, y is 2. Now we can do the same thing, but y is 0. 4x plus 2y equals 4. If y is 0, that term goes away. I get 4x equals 4. 4x equals 4 is left. Dividing by 4 on both sides. And we get x equals 1. So for y is 0, x equals 1. And we can graph that. 1, 0. 1, 0 is right here. And then we put a line through the intercepts and we have the graph of our equation. If you have time, plug in a, a third point to, just to check that everything lines up correctly. Maybe just pick anything, you know, x equals 1 or 2 or whatever you feel like. All right, so that was number three, and we have one more here. Plot points and graph. All right, this time we're not going to use intercepts because the problem is asking us to use these particular points here. Minus three, now remember that's x, because x always comes first and then y. So we're going to put in x is minus three, and we're going to solve for y. And then we're going to put in x is minus two and solve for y. So again, I'm going to set it up in a chart just to keep the information organized. So we're going to do minus 3 first and then minus 2. Both times we'll be solving for y. So let's go ahead and start with x is minus 3. So we take our equation, y is minus x minus 2, and we're going to put x minus 3 everywhere we see an x. y equals the opposite of put a parentheses and put your x value inside it so you don't lose the double negative that's happening here because we have the opposite of a negative 3 and then the other stuff just tags along minus 2 so that equals minus minus is plus so it's 3 minus 2 or 1 okay so this is y equals 1 when x is minus 3 so that goes right up here and we will find the next one, x equals minus 2. And again, we're looking for the y value. So we start with our equation. We put in minus 2 everywhere we see an x. So we have the opposite of negative 2. To take away 2 just tags along. Minus minus is plus, so I get 2 minus 2 is 0. So back in our chart, when x is minus 2, y comes out to 0. Now let's graph our points. So the first one is minus 3, 1. Minus 3, 1. And the next one is minus 2, 0. Minus 2, and then 0, so we don't move it all for y. And then we can graph our straight line going right through the points. And again, for this one, if you have time, find one more point. So you might want to put in a minus 1 or a minus 4, just to make sure they all line up correctly.